Matt Sherman was just saying how as much as there is a lot on all the rookies, there's more on the quarterback. Absolutely. I mean, I think that's the, the nature of the position. Um, you know, the quarterback has to be the leader of the group, and uh, he has to be intelligent. He has to know the offense and, and uh, be able to help guys get lined up and that sort of thing. So uh, just going through the playbook and, and trying to learn it as best I can right now. So how do you, you know, try to turn that chaos into something that looks right on the field? Well, I mean, the coaches do a great job. I mean, we install it slowly. Um, they don't give us too much, you know, so we just focus on what they give us at, at first and, um, and just take good notes. I mean, I've done that. You know, throughout college, and uh, just continue to do that here, and uh, just listen to the coaches and what they have to say, and just try to execute it out on the field. So Saquon was just talking about the expectations for a number two pick. What what are expectations for you when you don't have that? You know, what what's on Darnold maybe? Well, no, I mean, I, I don't, I don't think there's any expectations. I mean, all I can do is come in here and uh, you know learn and develop as best I can, and uh, you know everybody's everybody's in the same position, you know, trying to pick up a new offense, so. Um, like I said, just learn as best I can and uh, just try to help that quarterback room out however I can. Have you had a chance to talk to Eli yet? Uh, I have, just, just briefly. Uh, just, just touched base with him and uh, he just congratulated me and welcomed me to the Giants. And uh, haven't really talked to him more than that, but, but definitely looking forward to getting in a room with him and uh, getting to rack his brain. How do you just make it easier knowing a guy like Eli has been very good to young quarterbacks over the course? Of Absolutely. I mean, uh, I've heard nothing but great things about him and. Uh, you know, I'll definitely lean on him, and uh, you know, obviously, he's got a lot on his plate, and he's got to learn a new offense too. But um, you know, I just want to communicate to him that I'm here to help, however I can. And uh, you know, I think that's that's the important part of having a good quarterback room is you kind of help each other out. You know, and, and whether it's watching film together or asking each other questions or whatever, whatever it is, um, just try to add value to that group and uh, you know, help them, help those guys out, and as they'll help me out too. You've had an opportunity to get the, the playbook and look at it a little bit. And What do you think is going to be the biggest challenge of learning that playbook and the difference between what you did in Richmond yeah, and what I've, are you doing uh, here? Well, I've done a lot of different things at Richmond. I've, I've had experience in a lot of different offenses. So, um, you know, just being able to thumb through it and, you know, I don't want to look ahead and stuff, but I have kind of just gone through it. Nothing nothing seems too much or overwhelming to me. You know, I've, I've kind of experienced the whole gamut of, of offenses. Um, but you know, just I just want to stay with the here and now, and just kind of take it one day at a time. You know, that's when you kind of you don't want to get ahead of yourselves and uh, ahead of yourself and try to look look ahead. You know, just just master what we have going on now and, and all the concepts and stuff they build on each other. So, you know, the coaches are smart; they put it in the right order. And if you if you learn it in the right order, you know, you'll you'll develop and, and be on pace. And Is there anything majorly different, like <clears throat> footwork or no. reads that? they want you to, that you're no, gonna I mean, have to do here that you didn't really not at all I just think it's all a little bit more advanced a little bit more complex but n nothing I haven't really seen at this point they've been clear here that they think Eli has years ahead of him still to play but you obviously have a chance to establish yourself as maybe the quarterback of the future here do you view it that way well I don't know I mean it's, it's Eli Manning's team I mean he's uh, his success and his resume speaks for itself and um, you know, I do think he has some years left, and you know how how many years. Um, you know, we'll we'll just have to wait and see. But um, you know, like I said, I mean, I'm just going to do everything I can, and uh, you know, obviously, I have high aspirations and uh, confidence in myself and in my abilities, and um, you know, I'm just going to perform and be the best teammate and the best player I can be, and uh, however the coaches see fit, you know, where I am on the depth chart or whatever. I mean, that that's up to them. So. Um, just, just looking forward to you know continuing to develop relationships with these guys and just learning the playbook and uh, just developing as a player as best I can. How much there's a lot of pressure on uh, this team to take a quarterback at number two overall. Is it gratifying to you that they think you're the guy in the fourth round? Well, yeah, I mean uh, the guy they took number two is pretty good, and uh, <laughs> Saquon, um, you know, is it going to add a ton of value to this team as well? So, um, you know, I'm happy they picked him. He's a great guy. I've gotten to know him so far, and uh, I'm just looking forward to working with him. And sure, you know, I mean, I, when I met with the Giants, you know, that one of the private workouts I had, I felt really good about it, and I connected well with, uh, you know, the coach I was with. And, um, you know, I just, I, you know, I had a feeling. I didn't know exactly who was going to take me, but when, when I got the call, I was, I was definitely excited. It's a great situation, a great organization, and, uh, you know, I think they have a bright future ahead of them. You say you're, you're you know, it's Eli Manning's team, right? <laughs> You view, how do you view it with Davis Webb? Are you in a competition for him in the ba as a backup? In, in your mind, how do you sort of how do you sort of put that well, into perspective? Yeah, I mean, I mean, I'm always going to compete and try to uh, 
try to perform as best I can, and um, I, I don't really, I don't really see it like that, and I don't think Davis does either. I mean, um, like I said, we're all in this together, you know, and uh, we're all in the same boat, learning a new offense. So um, we'll definitely, you know, be be close and, and be friends and, and uh, help each other out as best we can, you know, and and just try to just try to help each other grow and, and try to develop. So. You know, as far as uh, who's the backup and stuff, of course, you know, both of us are going to compete, compete, and, and uh, you know, uh, both of us are going to try to earn that spot. But that, that's that's so far ahead in the future. You know, I just don't think it's uh, you know worth even thinking about right now. You've read a lot about lacking arm strength. That's something that bothers you when you see that. that... Uh, I don't know, a little bit. I mean, that if that's the worst thing that people say about me, then so be it. I mean, it, it is what it is. Uh, you know, I think. Coach Shermer had some nice things to say about that, and I don't think it's an issue. And uh, you know, I think um, you know there's a lot of there's a lot of other attributes that quarterbacks have to have, and um, I think I have those pretty well. And uh, I think I have enough arm strength, and we'll just have to wait and see. So, but I'll continue to develop that as well. So. Kyle, um, I spoke to your, your position coach, and he said one of the things you do very well is you anticipate things before they happen. How how is it that you're able to slow things down in your mind? I mean, given the speed of the game. Yeah, I think. Um, just having, I think, having a good understanding of, um, you know, the concepts and and where guys are going to be, and uh, and and just not being afraid to let that ball go before, you know, before that receiver comes into the window, and um, just having confidence. And you know, I've done this so long, and that's, I think, that's one of those um, just kind of natural characteristics that you, that you have as a quarterback, and you ha- you have to have, and especially at this level, you know, the windows get tighter, and and you have to throw the balls even earlier than you did in college, so. Um, but I think I'm, I'm pretty good in that area, and I'll, I'll uh, you know, continue to develop. And uh, just looking forward to, to seeing, you know, when we start going full speed and getting, getting some throws on with some live reps. You know, I'm looking forward to that. Dave Gettleman obviously said a lot of great things about you when he drafted you, but Richmond hadn't had a quarterback drafted. I can't even remember how long. But did you have to kind of coming up to the draft process? Do you feel like you had something to overcome? Well, I, I don't know. I mean, uh, obviously, out of high school, I. I didn't get recruited to a lot of those big schools. Well, I got recruited, um, didn't get those offers, but um, you know, I saw that Richmond was a great opportunity for me. And yeah, they ha- I don't think they've had a lot of um, you know quarterbacks that have gotten drafted, but they've had a number of players who have been successful in the NFL. So, you know, I saw it as a good opportunity to me for me to get a good education and, and play high level football. And uh, you know, Richmond was great. You know, we we played we played big teams, and uh, you know, I, I've experienced you know some pretty big environments and stuff. So. Uh, Richmond was great, and uh, you know I'm just looking forward to the next chapter. Just seeing that you know, Russell Wilson was the round pick, Tom Brady obviously sixth round. Do, do those success stories motivate you? Or they... yeah, I mean, uh, I I I don't look at it like that. I mean, of course, there's been a lot of uh, late round picks that have been successful in all positions. Um, you know, that's the thing. You just don't know how guys are going to pan out at the next level. But um, yeah, I mean, for me, I just you know I just kind of put all that college stuff behind me and just kind of open the next chapter and uh, you know it's just pr- hitting the reset button getting back to work and uh, you know you just got to come in every day and put your head down and, and do everything you can to to be the best player you can be and that, that's what I'm going to do. Kyle what do you want to take away from Eli Manning for the time that you have to work with him? Well um, I don't know if there's one specific thing I mean just everything about him I mean just the way he uh, the way he interacts with his teammates the way he you know commands the team the, the way he plays the position uh, there's just so much you can learn, and I think, um, you know, that's something that you have to, to do once you get in front of him, and once you just start to just kind of observe the way he the way he goes about his business. And I'm I'm looking forward to that. And uh, he's he's been a champion, you know. He's he's been a really successful player, and uh, uh, just looking forward to, to learning from him. Did the right. Patriots show any interest? In, did the Patriots show any interest in you in the draft process? Yeah, they did. Uh, as did a number of teams, you know. I, I don't know. It was it was hard for me um, to gauge who was more interested than others. They they were definitely in the mix, um, but you know, I I heard there was a lot of media hype around them. But you know, that's I think that was all it was. And uh, but I'm glad I'm here, and I'm glad I'm a Giant.